What's the address of your emergency? Um, I'm actually camping in Ledor, just outside of Ledor. Uh huh. Um, my two-year-old son. Um, we can't find him. How long has he been missing? About an hour. An hour? Yeah. Are you by water? Yes. Do you know which campground you're in? Uh, it's Stone Reservoir, Timber Creek. Stone Reservoir. Yeah, for Timber Creek. Hold on. We need search and rescue. Jessica? Jessica? Yeah? What's your son's name? Okay, what is he wearing? He was wearing cowboy boots, a blue um, pair, like pajama pants, and a camel jacket. And he's got shaggy blonde hair. Is your husband calling too? Like, all down where we were camping at and we can't find him at all. Okay, we need you to stay within cell service. We've okay. got people going on, on the way. Thank you. We will search for you and search for you and search for you until we find you. No matter how long it takes, no matter what we got to overcome, we will find you, son. So after Little Dior went missing, there was a huge search. Helicopters with night vision, tracker dogs, sonar to search the nearby reservoir, people on horseback, and searchers even went into a nearby wolf den to see if Little Dior had been pulled in. Most of the time, the story would be left there because this is a tragedy of a little boy who's gone missing. And yes, it is a tragedy of a little boy who's gone missing. Little Dior Jr. was only two, nearly three. But there are other opinions on this. I'm going to share those opinions with you and also the denials of the parties involved. So four people were on this camping trip. One was Grandpa Bob. Grandpa Bob's not well, well at all. He's on oxygen and he was on a camping trip and invited his friend Isaac to go on the camping trip with him. In addition to that, there was Vernal Dior Kunz, who is little Dior Junior's father, and Jessica, who was his mother. And that's where things start to get complicated. After little Dior goes missing, the police obviously talk to the family, the people who were on the trip, to try and determine what may have happened to little Dior. And this is where the complications really begin because everybody's got a different story. We've got Grandpa, Grandpa Bob, who says that he's told after the fact that he was asked to watch little Dior, but he wasn't aware of it at the time. I'm trying to image this in my mind because I've never been up there before. Yeah. So Dior, Senior, Jess, and Isaac walk away from the camp. Right. And do they ask you to watch Little Dior? That's what I hear. Okay, that's what you hear? That's what I hear. That's what you hear from them say? That's what I hear. I didn't know whether I heard or my, they said that. Okay. And then we've got Mother Jessica, who denies any involvement and our son's disappearance. Did you have anything to do with the disappearance of your son? No. Do you know of anybody that had anything to do with the disappearance of your son? No. As does Vernal Dior Senior. Did you murder your son? Absolutely not. No. As does Isaac, who is Grandpa's friend. Or was at the time. I was just a friend of the family. I was up there and next thing on, he's gone. So Jessica and Vernal say that Grandpa was supposed to watch him. Isaac says he knows nothing apart from he and Bob were friends for a long time and neighbours and they used to go fishing together. Grandpa, as you've seen, 
says he didn't know he was asked to watch Little Dior. He says he wouldn't trust Isaac in his house with his grandchild or with his money. And the officer says, well, why are you his friend? And he says, well, that's a hell of a question. Vernal says he would trust Jessica with his son, but no life decisions. So, then comes a new player. Somebody who didn't go on the camping trip. It's a private investigator that other family hired to see if he could find Dior. He's called Klein. Vernal's father started a lawsuit against Klein for 36 counts of slander and breach of contract, etc. I think that has recently, in February 2019, been quashed or parts of it have been removed. Unfortunately, Vernal's father passed away, but now Vernal takes over the mantle on that case. However, some of the things that Klein said are notable and can't really be ignored. So the family have called them ridiculous, Klein's claims. So the family claimed that on when they got there the morning they had to go and fill up with gas and, and get a few bits so they went down to the village or the nearest town to get some bits and pieces now the claim at this time they had little Dior with them and that he would have been seen by a number of people including the gas station and the store Klein's claim is that nobody remembers seeing him at that time with them Another concern of Klein's was that Jessica changes her story all of the time. She hasn't told the same story twice when it comes to Dior's disappearance. All of the family have a very different accounting of events, which is what we've seen so far. So Vernal went in for five polygraphs. This was because he was polygraphed by various different agencies. Um, state, local, federal and failed all of them in the 99th percentile which indicates deception. Jessica also failed four polygraph tests in the 99th percentile indicating deception but Jessica couldn't even answer a simple control question without deception coming up on the test. So with this all in mind, Klein is convinced that they know what happened to Dior and where he is. So now we're in a situation where instead of searching for Dior, the family are going to court. Jessica and Vernal split up and Jessica got married about six months later. So... Is anybody responsible for Dio's death or is this just what happened? So there are some indicators of deception in the parents. We have emphatic no's. We have praise of law enforcement and rescue teams, which we have seen from other guilty people. And we have sort of body language or shifty style behaviour, failing of polygraphs. But does any of that really mean anything? The truth is it suggests that the parents were involved. But we don't know for sure. To me, I would lean towards them knowing something. That's just my opinion. If what Klein says is true. If what Klein says is not true, then it could be that these are people who tragically lost their little boy on a camping trip and never saw him again and are now being vilified for being guilty of something. So I've posted some links down below 
have a look and tell me what you think. My main concern is little Dior Junior. It's doubtful that a child that age would still be alive if he's gone missing up in that campsite. It's sad, but it's true. But because we can't lose hope altogether, or try not to with little ones, I am going to now post an artist's rendering of what he may look like now and some contact details just in case anybody sees him because truth is we don't know. Okay then, join me on Sunday at 1600 GMT for the live chat. Thank you very much for clicking in. Stay safe, stay wonderful. I'll see you in the next video.